Hello YouTube, Rob Nick 66 here. And as you can see, the platforms are gone. They've been painted. Uh, I've taken a bit out of one of them where the coaches were rubbing, like sanded it down. See so yeah, that? It's all done. They're just drying at the moment. I'm going to do a video of them in the garage. I thought that wouldn't be really fun because you can't really see the layout. So yeah, it's just like a darkish grey. Then stick the bricks. Stick the bricks on sometime. I'm not sure when, maybe tomorrow, or at the weekend when I've got more time. So I'm quite busy at the moment with like the vision and stuff. But yeah, so they'll be done. Now we're going to drill them into the board. So they don't bow. That's what it's called bowing, where it's gone from cold to hot and this wood starts going up. So it's all good. And then once I've got the platforms back in and down, start on the grass over in the field which is going to be over here and these trees are going to be filled in here and then then when I've done that get some more buildings to put up and put like little gardens in them and because we're going for like a 50s look the garden, they'll be like old so and they'll be like the old it won't be big gardens. So, yeah. So it's coming along quite nicely. It's just getting time to do things, really. Well, because, like, my granddad, because he, like, works from home, he's got quite a bit of time, so he does a lot. 66 coming. And it's great. But maybe in the October half term, get some more of this wool bring around here. I don't know how far I'll go with it. Maybe, I don't know, it's about like to this point here. Probably about three, four or five packs maybe. Because you get eight pieces in a pack. It's just building the scenery up now really. Cause it's just a scenery to be done now. And for ballast, I'm not sure what to do for ballast. Um, I haven't really got much of an idea. Because I've seen like, loads of different ways to do it, but I'm not sure what's the right way and what's going to be too messy. And I might not even ballast it at all. I see what it looks like on the scenery zone. Also, in these like spare in the bits between the tracks, I'm going to paint, like, put some glue down, paint some glue down, and get like the Hornby or, whatever, or Gauge Master, whatever it is. Like, sort of sprinkly, I don't know what they call it, but it's like sprinkle it on. And then stick and it sticks just to give it some greenery. And then get some, I don't know, more containers from Dapo or, some, or something just to put in between the sidings, like where them PO ones are. That's uh, my finger. Just to like fill it out a bit. Also, might get like, another train at the half term. I'm not sure yet because because the half term is quite near my birthday. But it's just I might you can get one after my birthday, some birthday money. So if you could leave any suggestions on what trains you recommend, or DMUs or EMUs. So I quite like the Hornby 423 VEP, but it's quite a lot of money. I've seen a couple of views. They're meant to be really good. So yeah, now it's just building my train st stock up and my scenery. Yeah, it's really good. And i just like to say thank you to all the people who have been following my videos and commenting and liking them. It's just been good just to have like, and people give me like tips and stuff. Like I've had a few tips about making the platforms and um, what to do with it. So I'd just like to thank people who've done that for me. It's been a big help. Because I'm, because I'm not really an arty person or really good with wood and stuff. I haven't really had much of a clue, but the people have helped. It's been great help, great help, thanks. So it's all good. Okay, I haven't really got much else to say. Try to get 66 to come around again. Also, if you've got any like rolling stock you would recommend to buy, maybe good, thank you. All right.
which coaches to go with a locomotive or any like steam locomotives, what you really recommend, or diesels. So I'd like to get a HST in the near future. I was looking on the internet the other day and I was thinking about getting the Pretender Lena coach pack in like, I don't know what you think, like the Hel Hel Helgen Freightliner Class 86 to pull it. Because I don't really like the Hornby Class 90s, they're not really that good. That's what I've heard and what I've seen in videos. I'd like to get a better loco to pull it. Um, if you think that's not a very good idea, just leave a comment. Okay, so thanks for watching.